I'm Becky and I'm doing the syllables and affixes stage for our group's jigsaw. Students as early as second grade or as late as eighth grade are in this stage, but it's most common for students who are in the second half of fourth grade. When you administer a spelling inventory, you'll be able to determine who all falls into this stage by the spelling mistakes that they make. Students in this stage will be able to spell single syllable words well. They understand phonics, and they know their short vowel sounds, long vowel sounds, consonants, and consonant blends. Where they make mistakes are, is it's typically in the syllable juncture of multi-syllable words. And so a word that they can spell properly, like hop, they might make a mistake when they change it to hopping. There's the doubling of the consonant there that will often throw them off. Another mistake that they'll often make is changing an, a Y to an I when making a verb past tense. They could make a mistake um, with pluralization when to use S versus ES. These are all um, the common mistakes that you'll see in students who belong in this um, developmental stage. These students are learning that you can also take off affixes to find a base word and that this can lead to clues as to what a word might mean. So this will help teach them not only what a word can mean but how to spell a word. And students in this stage also make mistakes in the unaccented syllable of words. For example, our book talks about the word human. The unaccented syllable is the second syllable in that word, human. Um, if just looking at it from a spelling perspective, a number of vowels could be used. A student might use E or I. To get a clue as to how to spell that, they can actually add a suffix to the word to, um, to hear what vowel should be used. So a student could change the word human into humanity. And then there's a different accent. There's a different syllable accented in the word, and it becomes clear that the sound is in a, ah, humanity, and they can know that it, um, it should be spelled with an A, and that holds true for the word human. It works the opposite way, too. If you listen to a word like government, we don't typically accent the N sound If you look at the base word, it's govern, and then you can hear the N sound in the word govern. And because you know government is the base word is govern, you know an N belongs in that word. So by understanding base words, prefixes and suffixes, students will become better spellers and they'll also be able to understand, they'll also be able to uncover meanings of longer words. The question then becomes, how do we facilitate our students learning through this stage? And both the book and the supplemental videos that I watched, they really emphasized using word sorts. That way students can discover patterns themselves. They can work in pairs or in teams to do the word sorts, but it's important that afterwards they do an oral or written reflection to discuss the patterns they found in a way that really makes sense to them. In the early part of this stage, what you want to focus on with your students is patterns and pluralization. S versus ES and the oddballs like sheep and mice. You're also going to discuss the doubling of consonants and CVC words when you add suffixes or certain suffixes or changing the Y to an I when adding certain suffixes. Um, you'll also be working on compound words. When students are in the middle part of this stage, you're going to really work at the syllable juncture. And you might discuss, or you will discuss, consonants that are double consonants at the syllable juncture, like button, or different consonants at the syllable juncture, like window. And you'll also look at vowel sounds at the syllable juncture, like toaster. In the late stage, students begin looking at the meaning of prefixes and suffixes. So, for example, 
If a student knows the word believe, and they learn the prefix un and the suffix able, then they should be able to work out the meaning of unbelievable. So these will really be, this is how your students will progress through the syllables and affixes stage. In addition to word sorts, the text talks about doing a weekly spelling test. And this spelling test, they don't, your students don't just get a list of words that they should memorize for the test. Instead, they will be working out the same pattern every week or so, and they will be tested on the pattern. So where I talked about um, different consonants at the syllable juncture, like window, they might also be studying words like carton, well then when they're tested, you would test them on a word like sister. So they're following the same pattern for that consonant at the syllable juncture, but it's a different word. You're testing them on the pattern. Also, if you go to our text, um, pages 262 to 270, you will also be able to find activities and games that are appropriate for your students at this stage of literacy development. Thank you.